Sky Arena and the 2018 U.S. Open 10 Ball Championships. We are hosted here in Las Vegas at Griff's Bar and Billiards, and we are proudly presented by Q Sports International. Some of our sponsors for the event include the Rio Hotel and Casino, Diamond, Simonis, Cyclop Balls, Acme Cases, and Predator 1080 Pure Chalk. We are streaming live on Play CSI pool.com forward slash watch dash live. This is a one loss side match. It is 10 ball race to nine alternate break. Rack your own. This is a seventh eighth match in the tournament. And right now I'd like to introduce our two opponents for this match. First up hailing out of Germany. He's sponsored by Cyclop Balls, Kamui. Volmer Cues, GD Cases. He's a two-time world nine-ball champion. Let's put our hands together for Karsten Holman. <laughs> and his opponent hailing from the United States of America. He's sponsored by Q-Tech, the USA Pool League, and Ultimate Team Gear. He is a five-time U.S. Open nine ball champion. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Shane Van Boning. Oh right now, I'd like to turn it over to my two esteemed colleagues in the booth, Freddie Ognier and George Teachea. Gentlemen, have a great match. You may lag for break. Wow. John just keeps getting better and better at at uh, introducing us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a great matchup here. I mean, this is something you might expect out of the winner's bracket, but both these guys are actually on the one loss side, so this is an elimination match for both of them. Torsten Holman and Captain America himself, SVB Shane Van Boning, has been styling the Moscone uh, shirts here. Yes, he has. He's styling them all week. Um, this is loser goes to uh, goes home at an eighth place. Is that correct? That's correct, the 7 8 spot. Yeah, 7 8 spot. Settling four, 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 four. I just had it. For those of you wondering how Shane Van Boning is in the west side of the bracket, he was beat by Mitch Ellerman, who we just saw in the, in the stream, this last match. Mitch is probably playing as good as anybody right now. Deservingly, he's in the hot seat match with Alex Pagalayan. Which will bring you at seven o'clock tonight. Meanwhile, this match right here, Got Shane and Torsten. Shane started out on Wednesday defeating Chip Compton, then went on to defeat Donnie Mills, was defeated by Mitch Ellerman, and was sent to the uh, B side of the bracket, where he defeated Josh Roberts, Warren Kiamko, in a in a in a grueling uh, hill hill match. Hill hill match. And then defeat just not just just finished defeating uh, the undercover man, Ian, Ian Costello. Costello. All right. Now he faces Torsten. Well, jump shot. Jump shot. And he makes good on the shot. Now, did he call the five or did he call oh, the one? Well, oh, for sure, he called the ball that was hanging <laughs> in the pocket. <laughs> And now, unfortunately, he didn't get a reward after that jump shot. Looks like a simple one rail kick. Cue ball's got to stay behind the seven ball, and the one ball's got to clear the eight ball. Don't believe he can hit this ball first. He has the first kick. And did not stay there. Shane looks like he's clear on the one. It's close, close to the nine ball. So a lot of a lot of small challenges here. Play the one ball and hit the nine. He's got to get out of the way, or he rolls forward and he's got to get out of the way of the four. Mm -hmm. He may just draw straight back at him and back out. No, oh, just drew past the nine. Very nice. You can just run into the ball here, or in for position, or bring it back, back and forth. Yeah. 
draw it to the rail and come up by the four? No, follow it. Follow it. There we go. Easy. <clears throat> well, it looks good. Shane is sporting the American flag all over his shirt. USA. Eagle. And his extension Q Tech with black shaft, carbon fiber shaft. What's that about an eight eight inch extension in the back? back. Yeah, it seems some, to be uh, something, uh, about something that. like that. Yeah. yeah, eight inch probably. It looks a little bigger than just the, you know, the smaller one, so. You see how that it came off that cushion and it kind of uh, it looked like it was going to die off the rail, but it really popped off that rail. Mm -hmm. But he's been shooting on this table quite a bit uh, to practice. He had a uh, you know, he was practicing while Torson was still finishing up his match. Pretty solid run. Nice speed, nice movement of the cue ball. Uh, yeah, Torsten needed a little bit better on his, in his jump combination on the one ball to be able to try to get something going and the safety, kick safety was not successful and Shane just walking right through. Totally in control. Should be one nothing. And it is. And Torsten to break the balls. Torsten's uh, journey in this U.S. Open 10 ball championship started out with a bye on Wednesday. And then he defeated Robert Ferry, Ernesto Dominguez, and lost to Dennis Urquillo. Came over to the B side of the bracket. Where did we go? Here we go where he defeated Omar Al-Shaheen, Al and now is facing Shane Van Boney. Omar had a pretty good um, tournament. He was playing yeah. very, very well. We saw him earlier on the stream. I think we're gonna see more of Omar Al-Shaheen in the future. Sure. Mm -hmm. Loser of this match will settle for $1,000. Seventh, eighth place. Seventh, eighth place. The winner will go on to meet you were saying Dennis Hatch, Dennis Hatch, Dennis Hatch. Hatch. Mm. who just lost his match against Mitch Ellerman. Whoa. That's smacking him. That was pretty loud. No shot on the no one. Oh, did anything go in? Nothing in. Does the one ball pass the two ball? I think it does. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll cut this. Well, he's got a safety behind the four. Camera work. Mm -hmm. He can't cut it. it. Looks like he is cutting it. We'll go running into the four or the nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, it slid in off the. Nice wow, shot. Nice, nice shot. shot. Nice. Uh, you see Shane kind of just laying out there, hoping it went in, and it did. Mm -hmm. Three ball. It's by the ten ball. So if he can. Miss the six ball. I guess he can play the three ball for the mm -hmm. side pocket, the lower side pocket. Yeah, yes, point to the points to it. Looks like he can cleanly get away from that six ball, but <laughs> you know it's tight. It's, it's tight. Here's a good. There's a great view of this coming by the six. Oh, he had plenty of room. Oh, but it came short. It did come short of his uh, his area where he wanted to land. So now, does he play the, the combo or does he play safe? Let's take a look at this. What is the future here if he plays the combination? He can play combo and safe. Yeah, mm -hmm. the three ball will stay down here, right? I actually like two rail in the three ball just past underneath the seven and putting the cue ball up against the four eight. <coughs> but this is the highest Fargo rated player in the world at 819. 
Yeah, and I normally just say, you know, Fargo rates, WPA rates, this guy's the best player in the world. <laughs> I think uh, in his stretch run, at his high gear, there's nobody else, I think, in the planet that is as good as Shane Van Bonen. Torsten's at 7.78. This ball's gonna come back, but 41. not so far back. That was good enough for the hand flip. <laughs> Another interesting shot, maybe Torsten will play the four ball in the side pocket. Well, his sling choice at is, it, sling at it. His choice is to bank the three or cut the three. I like or it. play your four ball in the side pocket. Side pocket. <laughs> I don't know if he called anything, whether he cuts or banks. And there was Play, the fifth option. Raise the safety. Need some more excitement. Jump shot. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> the thing about this is that if he makes his three ball, the four ball lays pretty, pretty funny. Well, he's called a three in the upper left hand corner. Yeah, if he hits it clean, the cue ball's going two rails around, probably around the six ball down here, so he can actually shoot at this four ball. Shane always holds the uh, jump cue uniquely. And two rails around so he can shoot at this four ball. Safety? I don't know. It feels like he knew he, knew he was coming down here mm -hmm. all the way, so. I th He'll plow the four ball into the nine and stop the cue. Can he do? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Now we just stick it right on the eight ball. Very nicely done. Oh, the nine ball even helped him out even better, I think. Yeah, he just There's no, well, you can't kick to the side pocket. <laughs> Up table is blocked by the nine, I believe. Two rail, one pocket shot to the four, I suppose, but you have to hit it hard enough to get to the rail. One. What a safe. What a safe. One rail kick to a thin four ball. Yep. And he has more of this four ball I thought, I, I thought but he doesn't have he doesn't have the three wide. He only has a two wide four ball. This is a tough shot. Very yeah. tough shot. He's called it in the lower right hand corner just as an insurance. Um, he's got about quarter ball to hit. Almost a half a ball, maybe you might call it. I think he's got a full ball, so that means that his path is two balls wide. If there was no perfect. Hits well, it perfectly. Right. Hit it really, really, really nice, but look what it's oh going to leave. Oh, boy, that's unlucky. Nice hit, no reward. No reward. You know, 45 players started out on Wednesday with this 2018 US Open. We're down to two on the winner's side and six on the one loss side. What oh, was really unfortunate about that shot is I think the cue ball bumped the 10 ball so the five ball went. Yeah, it did. It bumped it from the bottom side and then the five ball <laughs> went so it, it was even easier for Shane to get out here. Assuming he gets all the way out. Mm. Things are looking pretty good. Yeah. Bring that cue ball right between the eight and nine position for the seven. Yeah, he's gonna just hit, make sure he hits it short of the, he's not gonna hit the side rail, don't think, or else he's in danger of scratching. The nine ball prevents him from going short of this. Oh, he just gets there, boy, yeah. I tell you, that's that's just control there. The, and the nine ball sits higher than I thought it did. Forward again, or is he coming straight back? Looks like he's hitting high on the ball. Yeah. Ten ball. Oh, oh, he didn't want to hit. I don't think he wanted to hit that. I wouldn't think so. It didn't hurt him to hit it because he's still got a shot here and he can uh, handle position for the nine. And in a second, it's going to be two to nothing. Thump. Stun follow. I love that shot. <laughs> it just sounds good. And Shane likes being ahead 2 nothing. 
nothing. Two nothing and the break. And the break. Torson gets to sit and watch. matches that are going on right now, I believe, is you have Cl Cl Clinty's over there. Yeah, Clinty's playing Aranas and uh, in this match right here. You have waiting in the wings to play is Dennis Hatch and Dennis Opio. of the people left in this tournament. Oh, the cue ball sounded flat. He didn't jump it up in the air, but the took a little off of it. Uh, just kind of, it wasn't on the hop when it hit it. Not happy with it as he slams the chalk down. <laughs> I think he's going to cozy in the one and then play the two ten combination. Interesting. <laughs> he's looking at the 2 10 combo. He likes it because getting on that two, he's got to move the eight. And he's challenged to put it right. He'd like to have the cue ball right where it's at if he's going to shoot the two ball, the 2 10 in that area. Right. Or just. Go to the center of the table so he can uh, play yeah. a, like the two ball out of there. He doesn't want to play the two ten. Apparently not. Must want the two ball in the upper right hand, upper left hand corner. Excuse me. And I don't think it goes by the the eight ball. The eight for ball, that. it's oh, it's close, yeah. but I didn't think so either. But he played it there, so maybe he was yeah. trying to get into the the eight ball. Is Four. he looking for a safety? Maybe. Yeah, that ball doesn't go in. Yeah, it doesn't go in. He can't get to a rail and hide the ball. Eight in the side. <laughs> Would he ever play that? Why not? Uh, and the four ball doesn't make that side pocket big, so. He's on the bottom rail, so he can't really stop the ball. Pretty good shot. That's a rather creative shot. See how Torson handles it. We've already started off with him not getting much of an opportunity. He's been on the outside looking in a couple of times now. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. Oh, That's boy. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm going to call the ball there. Try to go two rails. Two rails. Try to make it. Whether it's two or one, as long as I hit, he, oh, he hit that pretty sweet. He hit it pretty nice. He's Don't gonna get scratch. rewarded. Um, oh, that's close to it is Shane close. just shooting straight at it. Wow, that is so close. Can he? He can actually overcut this ball. So he's probably going to spin this or else he wouldn't have had to call it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of curvature. And he did overcut it, yeah. just like you said. He had the opportunity to do and he exactly what he did. Well, Torsen has an opportunity here, but the four ball lays pretty funny. We've got to get yeah. on that side, but if he can get that, everything else sits well. You know where that four ball lays is it, it just it's a, it's it's a run stopper. Oh yeah, it, it's a tough shot uh, to get shape on. And getting straight in is probably not what he wanted. 
Is he straight? Can he punch this over? Um, it, he appears to have a little tiny bit of an angle, but I think he wants to be on the upside of it instead of the lower side of it. Well, the four ball is higher than this, the mm -hmm. side pocket, mm -hmm. so maybe it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, no, so it stays on the ball. Okay. Nice shot. Oh, we got, he's got plenty of room there. He shouldn't Good. catch any part of the point here. He's he left it out. Ooh, Ooh, the ball came out. I thought he left it. I thought that came off the rail. Yeah, stop shot here. Sure. Maybe two inches of draw. Uh, stop shot. He does have an angle here. Really should be no problem. Famous last words. <laughs> well, for this gentleman here, if you say there's no problem, he'll uh, he'll make sure there isn't. He takes care of business. And he's going to put one on the board for himself. Pretty much making a statement that uh, Shane's saying, I ain't going anywhere, buddy. I'm right here. Two to one, Shane Van Boning, Torsten to break. See him putting down the magic ball rack. Just keep in mind, guys, that the finals in this this tournament will be a race to 11. Not not a double elimination. Right, extended race. And as, as you can note, as you can see, it is an alternate break format. Rack your own. Two and three balls are racked on the corners. Jump cues, of course, are allowed, as we've already seen a couple of jump shots. And what we have not seen is anyone even attempt a three foul. Nope. These guys figure, we all kick so good. <laughs> Why bother trying that crazy stuff? Plus, you know, they're just, I haven't seen really a bad break where they're all tied up. No. They're, they're, they spread out pretty good, so. Uh, Another flattish break. Usually, Torsen also has the hot break. Nothing went in. Nothing. And uh, if he's got any kind of angle here, Shane does. You figure him to run out. Mm -hmm. Tembo does not move. Not even one iota. Jack mm. up or just a little nip draw. Oh, that sounded like it could have uh, double hit it. Double hit, but I don't. It, it was the cue ball and Q-tip were so close that I think that was the that was the cricket I heard. Mm. I think the cue ball would have jumped forward. You think by having the tip there, it caused an echo? <laughs> oh, the, the tip and then the ball—they're so close together. Just a little chirp instead of a. Mm. Good clean pocketed ball there. Will he move the cue ball? I mean, will he move the four ball here? I thought that he'd just stun it up between the four and the seven. Uh, Let's see what it looks like from here. It must be close. Yeah, because if he, he, he has to hit it exactly, there's about uh, five, five inches of yeah. pocket there. And going forward oh. doesn't look good. Oh, he was about ready to shoot that 10 seconds yeah. ago, but because yeah. he went down so quickly on it, I thought it must be really easy. Hmm. That's what prompted my question, <laughs> because the playing position between the 4-7 the oh, and the peril. side pocket there is, is, is tight. So do you run into the 4? Is it a good idea to run into the 4? You might be forced to, because or, you, can't, you can't just sit below it. Yeah. No, he went with the stun between. Which is what he wanted to do to begin exactly. with, and he was already going to shoot it, and then he thought, thought, thought. Uh, draw this straight back to him, right to his hand, I guess. That's about right. He rubs over the magic rack. <laughs> <laughs> is he straight in, or does he have an angle? I think he's got an angle. Uh, I think he's coming straight, straight back, back yeah, with a little, little left-handed little, little juice. Little juice. 
Well, that's not bad. I don't like bad shots. A lot of people take that one for granted and go right to the inside of the eight ball so you can use the cushions two rails around. A lot of people would have just put that ball straight in the side pocket and then they left it with it straight in eight and then you have to draw it out instead of something so simple like what changes mm -hmm. did. Makes it so much easier. A lot of people aren't ashamed of that. That's true, that's true. The one and only South Dakota kid. Three to one after Torsten's dry break and straight in one ball. Winding it down, we start the semifinals and the finals of this tournament tomorrow along with 11 a.m. matches that begin the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. This gentleman right here is your ring champion for the 10-Ball ten ten ball. U.S. Open. This, if he, can, if he can find his way to the winner's circle again in this tournament, it'll be the third year in a row. We're working on the three-peat. And as you heard in his, during the introductions, he's a five-time 9-Ball. U.S. Open 9-Ball champion. Nine ball champ. He's got a, at least one U.S. Open 8-ball championship. Mm -hmm. He's got a U.S. Open 1-pocket championship. He's done it all. There goes the... There goes the nothing. There goes the dry break. Dry break with no shot in the 1. Even if you could hit the 1, there's no shot on it. Things like that will drive an opponent crazy where to push in this particular case do you push just to the where the magic rack is on the bottom left that's uh that's my first thought here uh, push it over there you can play the you can play the six ball with the cue ball but 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 actually yeah but you wouldn't have position so that's probably out of the question okay, push the 10 up there That's an interesting push. He must have something in mind. Bank, bank the one into the six. Uh, what about the eight ball? Can he actually make the eight ball? Well, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, the, uh, if he banks the one, how's he going to get by the eight ball? Uh, to the get to cue, the six. The cue ball has got to just, it's got to tickle the eight, or it doesn't come by. Oh, okay. And that's what he's kind of looking at. I don't know if that's going. Can he get to that side of the one ball? Did he play safe? That's. Tickle that. Do you think he's going to pass? Gonna he give it, yeah, he's going to give it so back. So we're going to see what Torsten had. He's going to, I believe he's just going to go ahead and call the six. He's, he's, gonna get, he's got something full on this one ball. He might be able to draw into the six, which would be suicide. You know, he just might go ahead and bank the one into the rail, have the eight ball stop it there, and bring the cue ball just past the two ball where it is right now, and use those balls, uh, that whole line of balls, as a hmm. safe. He needs to call something in the side pocket. He's gonna two rail. He's gonna two rail the two ball, the one ball there. <laughs> this would be interesting. I'm all eyes. See, that's that's where I thought he would go with it, but I thought he would try to stay in tighter and well, get behind those balls. It's tough to do. Safety is uh, doesn't look good. No. I would call that a safety fail. Fail safe. Mm -hmm. Well, Shane uh, trying to clear this table to take a commanding four to one lead. This one's a little short, but he's on the correct side to get to the three ball. Spin this ball in. Yeah, four to one leads are not that commanding, mm -hmm. but, but when it's a player of this caliber, and he looks like commanding. he hasn't missed much though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. His because it's Shane, it's a commanding lead. But Torsten has the firepower. Experience 
And resume. <laughs> and resume. Stay with me. Former world nine ball champion Torsten Homan, long time ago. Did you, didn't you say twice? Uh, he has uh, he has won twice. Yeah. But he won the his first world nine ball championship was a zillion years ago, being Alex Pagalain, a very young Alex Pagalain, in one of the early WPA nine ball events for the world championship. Torsen's won a whole bunch of straight bull world championships too, at least three. He's got a strong resume, as you said. He'll be up for the Hall of Fame at some point soon. This what, what's year, however. Eight? What is age for that? 40. 40? 40 with significant titles in the United States, since it is a United States, the BCA Billiard Congress of America Hall of Fame. But. Niels Fayan is uh, eligible this year, as are uh, as is uh, Charlie Williams, I believe. Well, again, it's just one of those, just a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> He'd rather have uh, be on one side of the seven ball, but the ten ball doesn't allow him to draw up table or come in the side pocket. Doesn't allow him to just come off the cushion to get to the eight ball. So straight in for a draw back or come to the right side of the seven ball as we see it so he can go two rails back to the eight ball. On two rails? Yeah, right two like rails. That. Nice. Well, this is what he was trying to guard against was not too straight in because now he's going to draw back to the short side. Can he plow forward? It, it, you know he looks too straight. That last little angle that I've looked at right. looks too steep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, oh. he can go forward. He or can just come forward. yank it back to the side rail. Yeah, forward to the side rail. Uh, back, yank back to the side rail and out. And he can stroke him like that so easily. Yeah. I guess it's going to go all the way down. Oh, he's going to be able to spin that in, makes that simple. And uh, four to one. Four to one. Unless, you know, barring an earthquake or something <laughs> that moves that ball as he shoots or before he shoots. I just don't see Shane missing something no. like that. Four to one, Shane Van Boning. Good look at our sponsors. We are Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas. Predator 1080 Chalk. Acme. The Cyclops. official case. They are playing with Cyclops balls on Simona's cloth on a diamond table with four and an eighth inch pockets. Are we at four and an eighth? I thought we were at four and a quarter on this Four one. and a quarter, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you are correct. Got kicked nice in, way but to make uh, six. guides it in with the cue ball, and he's got a shot in the one. Mm -hmm. He's got he'll shoot that some one work ball. to do to hold yeah. this ball. I think he'll probably come right down to work. Try to get where it's at now. Pocket this ball and lay the cue ball where it is now, a little bit further down for better shape on the deuce. You okay? That ball skidded, but it looked like it uh, threw a little bit more than he was expecting. And that's unfortunate because he got really as good as you wanted to on the two ball. It'll run into the nine ball. Nine. And, yeah. and he's got the seven ball as a blocker ball, so he can play position for that three ball. Good old stopper. Unless he's playing in the side pocket. I can't see. It seems like he's too far down table. Yeah, yeah, he cannot just run right into the seven ball then. 
Am I making both? No, you won't even try to make the shot. Well, he's definitely just going to try to play yeah, two, but he can only play one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, not that he was calling me. I thought he just might make it just to just, speed things just up. Speed things <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one less ball to run. Well, make while he's at time. it, he might as well just call a 10 ball here. Uh, but that's, he has to call one or the <laughs> one other. One or the other. That's, the, that's actually one of the things I, I, I um, you know, these two-way shots. I, well, yeah. They like yeah. them. Well, he's playing the three ball. He's going to make sure the 10 ball isn't going to give him any issues here. Yeah. Well, it, must, it must cause enough of a problem or ALC would have already shot the ball. He could move the four. Yeah. Or he could slide down off the 10 and, and get on the bottom rail where he doesn't have a shot for the four. Right, right. Good shot of the sponsors there. Q Tech Qs and the USAPL. Well, as you can see here, he's on, you know, the, he did make the 10 and yeah. uh, it spots up. Four ball is tough to the side. And that's what he was concerned about. Exactly. That's so exactly maybe he just plays a safety here or do you actually play this ball in? Um, two, two he, could play the two, he could play the four in the side pocket, and the cue ball should end up close to the 10. He's going to have to do it real soft. Yeah. It almost feels like you just yeah. go ahead and hit four as straight as possible and tuck exactly. right on the nine ball. Or you go for the four into the side all the way. He's going for it. It looks like he's going for it all the way. Gotta he's all the, in. Clear the 10 here. He's all in, and he's made it. Nice shot. And he got there that if they if yeah. didn't make the ball, he had the safety. He had the safety. Back and forth. You know, those nice shots angle. there, that that, nice you, angle. well, it's just so much nicer to shoot them with that kind of speed. Because right. if you shoot them softer, yeah. so many things can happen. With that thin cut, it could skid real easy. It could exactly. just do funny things. And we've seen that here on this yeah, table. Yeah, sure, sure. But the ball came off his, off the cue ball. The object ball came off the cue ball so nice and pure. Mm -hmm. We had a great angle. Okay. It was well struck. Nice little uh, jolt of juice there at the bottom, huh? To come back up for a nice shape on the 10. And a five to one lead. It's certainly a commanding lead now, five to one. Uh, yes, especially now that he's breaking the balls too. He's broken the ball so successfully throughout the tournament. I wonder what Shane's TPA is right now because I don't believe he's missed a ball. Maybe he has, but well, I don't think, think so. It's pretty high. <laughs> it's good. It's right. Most yeah. of the time, sometimes it's higher than others. Well, the two, seven, eight look like the beautiful 10 ball results after a break of old. Draw this sort of straight back, or is okay, you had an angle. What a shot. And he's really good here. Yeah, he's gonna go to the rail. He's either gonna go straight down and shoot the two ball in the uh, three ball in the same pocket or go to the rail and come out for the three for the opposite pocket. Oh, oh he well just, <laughs> just when it. I was saying he hasn't missed a ball, <laughs> what, did, so, did Torsten pay you to uh, jinx him? Apparently so. I mean, that's, uh, you know, if I had that kind of power, I, mean, I, I wouldn't be well, we change. <laughs> well, we change innings here. Uh, TPA stands for. Uh, Is that the AccuStats? Ac yes, okay, the I, I knew it was AccuStats, but uh, uh, I didn't exactly know what TPA stood for, but I knew it was AccuStats. Now I'm going to have to find out what it stands for. Yeah. It's a total production well, uh, something, ah. something, something, <laughs> something. What it is is uh, a perfect, if you, if you score perfect, you're at 1,000 points. 
you're at uh, you're at a thousand. And I think it goes what point nine, point seven, something like that. Yeah, in, in the nine hundred, it's, it's, it's pretty world excellent. class. Yeah. Play a perfect match, you you shot a thousand. And that, that, like I said, that's Aki's stats, and uh, they have a lot of information going into that too. They sit there and really analyze your match. Uh, successful safeties, shots, misses. Uh, they record everything you do. It's the Meanwhile, tournament performance average. There you go. Perfect. Freddie's fast with that technology stuff where, you know, I'm not so much. I, uh, I just uh, talked to Pat Fleming today. Mm -hmm. A little well, jump shot, or, is it, or can you see it clean? If he has well, to jump it, it's going to be a, just a, a minute, minuscule part of the ball. And I think he's got a... a just the left it. side of this two ball. He's got to guard against the kiss back he's here. He's not playing it. He's playing safe. Safety all the way. There's a pocket down there that's not going to be safe. He didn't find it. It's Stayed short distance. of it. Shane can see this ball. He's calling the side pocket uh, just in case, I suppose, but if he makes it, it seems like he'd be behind the five ball and all those other balls. You know, all he has to do is get that two ball down here by the right-hand corner right. pocket, and he's got every ball except for every ball <laughs> that comes into play. And that's Look exactly what he's done. Not, not the corner. <laughs> the corner, is that's the only place he couldn't hit. Right, the far corner. If he'd cut the close corner, probably yeah, would continue still, going down the table. Still, he's safe. Unless it gets just, you know, he would have been safe. Tough shot here if he decides to go hog wild. He's going to have to plow this oh, in the very narrow pocket going all the way around the table. He's going around the table. He'll come inside the inside the four ball. Four ball might stop him. But yeah. He did get on that oh, yeah, side. Oh, sure. inside. He'll come inside the four and, and get shape on the three. What a great shot. Mm -hmm. and to make that shot from that angle at that speed was something else. It did sort of jar in there. Well... It laid pretty nice for it. Yes. And he recognized it and took advantage of it. For a lot of other players, you know, they, they might not have seen that shot. Another tough position shot. It's going to get high. And up and it goes. He's good. Well, if he can get straight on this five ball, which I suspect he will, I think he will have solved this rack. Even though that six eight are kind of close, a uh, seven eight are close together in the middle of the table. It's straight on the five. He's trying to hoe the ball, he's, but he's, he's a little high, so he's going to come down for the seven in the side pocket. Hmm. That's still available. Does he go to the end rail and, and back? I think I guess so. Probably. It's just safer to do it, shoot it that way. Oh, where he's are you going? Too far. Where are you going? Oh, thank you, Tim Ball. I want uh, a combo on the combo 10, so I'll just, 10, play I'll just put it in place. What the heck? <laughs> well, This could actually turn into a two-way shot almost. Draw behind the eight ball? Exactly. Try to use the eight ball to cover. Uh, if, if you miss, if you miss uh, the 10, you just watch. You, your seven ball's not going to go far, so you probably won't hit this real hard. You won't hit it real soft either because you don't want to hang the 10. Right. Torsten needed an easier rack than of this. But yeah, this is no hanger. He's, he's drawn by the eight ball no matter what. But he made it and, and yeah, he got his two away. And he covered. Nicely joked. Nice Done. shot. Nice shot, Torsten. Five to two. Torsten needs a comeback. I think he's only, is he one break of serve behind? Yeah, he's only one break of serve behind, so he's got to He's got to uh, clean up this his own rack. Yeah, I guess it do look. So I was gonna say, do those look straight? But it's it's all, all tournament long. I look at this uh, camera angle, <laughs> and they look crooked to me. That's because I'm standing. Is that where we're sitting? We're looking sideways at, at the this monitor. monitor. Yeah. All right. So if you've heard me ask that question before during the live stream, it's because I have asked it before. <laughs> and um, the answer is still, yeah, they're straight. 
All right, the hit man gonna hit them. Hit back. He's been getting hit. He's starting to hit back. And a ball is down. And there goes another. Another ball, and he does have a shot on the one ball. Mm -hmm. That five eight is tied up, but the four ball is close by. So that if you get good on the four, you can take care of the five. Shooting at the one ball for the corner pocket. He'll bump the deuce straight across. Yeah. Hopefully he just uses a little more. Well, if he draws the ball, he'll bump it straight across to the side and have a shot on it. Missed it. Oh, he let the ball went in. <laughs> right off the face. Definitely wasn't the center of the pocket. but. And he's laid the two ball in a position where the seven ball He's in play, big. right? It plays big. Well, not sure inside, it's in the way, I guess. Yeah, he's going to have to kill this ball. Inside, nicely this is done. nicely done. Well, now, looking at this, is the five ball actually past the seven? If not, he'll play a combination. Um, or a safety? Yeah, let's see how it handles. He, he, might, he might be able to draw this ball and just nibble the, the five on the top part that pushes the eight away. And as he comes by it, still have a shot. I don't know. That's that's kind of looking at this angle. That's what it looks like. If the streaming audience could see us as George and I are moving left and right, looking at the monitors, <laughs> thinking that maybe we can see behind some of these balls, but they don't move. They're on the monitor. The guys, laugh with me. Okay, he's <laughs> laughing at me. Is what he's doing right now. Well, I'm doing the same thing though. <laughs> it doesn't move. We try to look around the. It's like looking around the screen. Well, you were right. I guess he can he can play uh, this combo unless the unless five, five ball, ball goes. goes by. And he might be able to cheat the pocket to the outside. Not much to cheat, though. These are small pockets. They're stingy. Very, very stingy pockets. No, he, he does the play the combo. Nicely done. And he finally has an easy shot on this rack. <laughs> Sooner or later, you play yourself in line. U.S. Open 10 ball championships. Loser here settles for eighth place, seventh, eighth. Seven, eighth. You'd rather call, say they got in seventh than eighth well. if you can, right? <laughs> Good job, Torsten Homan. And a thousand dollars. Three days worth of work for a grand, plus your expenses. In Vegas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the bright part of all that was what? I was just thinking that's an awful lot to, to only make a, well, you know. Well, uh, so here we go with uh, Shane Van Boning. Five to three. Five closes to three. the gap. Well, it closes the gap big time because I'd rather be five to three than six to two. Balls have gone in, and there's no shot in the one ball, so here comes the safety. Is he going to lock him up behind that six? Or is he going to shoot the shot? Well, he's not shooting the shot, I don't believe. I think he's trying to get behind the eight and the nine down there. Or behind the six. All right, you're oh, he came oh. out. He leaked it out. He came right up. No shot in the one, though. Now he's got to take a good look at this. Just plow the one, seven, ten. For no particular reason. Safe. Just plow the seven <laughs> into the <laughs> ten and call the ten. Exactly. Yeah. yeah that's you what know, I'm thinking. Just look at the way this is lined up on your monitor. Just take a look at it. It's not out of the question. Tony Chohan will shoot this play in one pocket. That's right. That's <laughs> he right. played this ten. He has all the ball to hit, doesn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, got the so full, 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 uh, full one ball. Safety off the left side as he views it. Four or ball with a cue ball. I, I'm, I'm being creative here. There we go. I'm being creative. Rear back and just fire at break speed. There's a good view of Torsten contemplating his next shot. Eklund Kachi in the background. 
Every time I look over there, Clenty is shooting. Uh, that's a good thing for Clenty, because he's playing Dodong. James Aranas. The diamond, Dodong Diamond. Dodong, is that Dodong? Is that Dodong, yes, no, right? I say this, that in the Philippines, a lot of the boys get nicknames that sound like doorbells. Well, that wasn't smashing the 10 ball, but. Well, Shane might be smashing the 10 ball. Or he'll cut the one ball in. I think it passes the 10, doesn't it? Well, I can say if you fire at this 10 ball, that one ball will go up by that two uh, to where that piece of chalk is on the table up there. Yeah. Off the 10, and you can stop the cue ball there for a safety. One in the corner. There's a or the safety. Shot. <laughs> Got a safe out of it. He's now missed two shots and missed one safety in his last three times up to the table shooting. Uh, this young man here, this gentleman here. <laughs> Which direction? I guess by the four ball you'll kick. It's close. It's close. He's open on the right side. Oh, I like this. Torsten is looking at the table and hoping that somehow the balls move. Made a hit. And he's gonna get safe. Torsten is thirty-nine. Good result. Good result. Torsten is thirty-nine. That means next year he's gonna be eligible for the Hall yeah. of Fame voting. He's a cantor, born July fourteenth. This some year, some circles will call that Moon Child. Mm. Yes. As am I. Fourth of July. Here we go. Jump shot. And there we go. Well, the good news for Shane is that he left this cue ball on the cushion, so of course Torsten is going to be limited in what he can do. The, to get to the two ball is going to be difficult from there. And he'll probably try to pocket the one ball in that upper left-hand corner and put the cue ball right back where it's right at. Right where it's at. It has to come right where it's at. A little bit mm -hmm. lower than that may not, may not get to the uh, two ball. 12.30 English. He's firing at it. He's firing at it to get to the other side. And Tremendous did, shot. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, That's he a did. great nice shot. shot. That works a lot better than trying to lay it where it was. Yes, I think so. All right. He's Looking go two rails to get to this three ball. And if he does that, I believe that opens up the whole rack. Looking at Torsten's earnings the last six years, his best year was... 2013, where his tournament results was close to $92,000. Right to the five ball. Good job. Yeah. Torsten is finally getting loose here. it. A little shake of the head here. Exploded off that cushion. As those cushions up table seem to do a little bit. But he's almost straight into the corner pocket. I believe it goes by the eight ball pretty easily. But he's still going to he decide to go in the side pocket. Oh, cozy that in. That's how tough he made that shot by just exploding off that cushion. That's going to be a little bit long. 
That's two shots in a row he went long. He gave the little grimace. Shouldn't have a problem, but he'd rather it would have been straight in on this ball and just bunt it in. Nice shot. Nice shot. Coach. Nice uh, recovery. And we're on serve. Torsten to break the next rack. Well, while Torsten's breaking the next rack, here's a bit of trivia. Didn't I just say that Torsten was broke, uh, born on the 14th of July for a moon child? I think that's what you just said. Okay, well, I'm looking at uh, Shane's uh, profile, and he's born July 14th. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> of course, he's 35. At, he was born in 83. So they're close to five years apart. Born on the same day. Uh, Shane's best year was 2016 with $186,565 in tournament results. He is right now second money leader on the AZ money leaderboard with almost 40, well, 45,650. US Open One Pocket Championship, US Open Bank Pool Championship. <laughs> Uh, four Bears, eight ball men's division, first place. Second in the World Pool Masters, 2018. Second in the Andy Mercer, 2018. Second West Coast, West Coast Challenge, one pocket. Another big break by Torsten, but the cue ball went straight back to, to the head rail. He can see the one. I don't think he's gonna shoot it. Wide open, looks like a whole bunch of Skittles on top of uh, the dining room table. <laughs> I mean, they're spread open, you know, almost symmetrical. Cyclops, isn't that what some people were calling Skittle balls? Yes, sir. At first, when they first came out? That was the obscure reference. <laughs> to those little colors of the six and the seven ball? Torsen is called the cross corner bank. If he makes it, he's going to be cutting the two ball in. Don't think Did he not wants to make, make it, it from there. And oh, and he's he left, left a shot. Oh, it's close. But I think he's left it. Well, Shane's staring at it. It certainly seems like he has it, but maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just has just a touch of it, but not to the pocket. And he doesn't because he's just pointed that he's going to kick at this ball. talking about kicked it shot it right in he fooled us fooled me <laughs> I mean he pointed to the cushion as if he wanted to uh, oh kick at it but he had a full ball to hit Freddie how could he fool you <laughs> I've been trying to do it all the last few days last year and you give me a ma mathematical answer how could he fool you <laughs> well Shane went through all those balls without hitting total avoidance and this is where he ended up it's fortunate he didn't scratch I don't think he's got much of a shot here. He's going to have to figure something out because to back cut that ball to the right-hand yeah. corner pocket uh, is asking a lot, especially with the cue ball going Trailing towards, towards, the, the, side towards the side and the six. He's got to hit this to make a rail, so maybe he just cuts it slightly. Cue ball to the left behind the three ball, maybe. It looks like he's about to rear back and fire. He called something, I believe, in the side pocket. He's calling the two ball in the side pocket. The three ball goes by the 10, so I can see him playing two rail shape on the three for the corner, left hand corner. Or coming back down for the side. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this ball. Off the five, no, perfect for the three. <laughs> Up against the three. Oh, boy. Wow, that's. Uh, Let me well, see. That he, was one, two, let three, it loose. four, five, six rail shape. Did any other ball get hit? No, no. no. And that's where he, he played around up. the table, 
in six rails uh, and not touch a ball. Shane is uh, looking at cutting this three ball. He'd have to stroke this about 100 miles an hour and a three ball will crawl in unless he sees it better than what this monitor suggests. Well, we know he can't hit it 100 <laughs> miles an hour. Uh, Fastest on record is what, like 33, 34, maybe uh, 35 miles per hour? Yeah, maybe 38, Mike DeShane. Okay. <laughs> he was, I saw him here last night. Yes, Mike DeShane is in. here. Trouble in River City, maybe. Saw him walk in late last night. He's probably here for the eight ball. Well, that'd be interesting. You know, Mike DeShane is solidly he, from the Fargo side, the second best player yeah. in the United States. He's he in should that be 800. In this. Yeah, don't know why he isn't. Shane hung up the three ball. Looks like that's where it was heading no matter what. Torsten has a really good opportunity here to tie this matchup. Just clear the 10 ball so he can play the 5 8 combination. Don't get too straight. And do you see him hit that chalk like that? Because if, if he was cutting across, he had a better chance of hanging that 5 ball. Now that he's got to shoot straight yeah. forward. He can't keep the cue ball away from the 5 ball so much. El Stapo. And try to follow it in because you'd be. Oh, yeah. never mind. The. I was looking at shape on the seven the side, but no, it's the six way. It's yeah, that shape on. Hit this very slow so it doesn't roll in. Good job. And now you can hit any either side of the of the ball. Looks like he's going to hit the left side of the five ball and draw down. Yeah, or at least drag it down the rear. There it is. Yeah. It can be a subtly difficult shot, but I think he handled it no problem. Two rails. To the seven or one rail? Probably two. One, two, right at it. It's a better line. And it crossed, and just crossed over, which I believe is what he want. No, he shake his, shook his head. Yeah, it's straight. It's either straight mm -hmm. or it's uh, still on the wrong side going the right way, in which case if it is, he'd go forward. But no, it looks good. Stop it. Oh no, he did. He was on the wrong side. He decided to go backwards. I just made this much tougher than you'd think it'd ever be. Yeah. His choice is to cut it down the rail or bank it in the side. I have to believe he's going to just cut this oh, ball sure. in. Sure, sure. All day long. All day long, right? Well, the side pocket is available. It Look is. how <laughs> small that was. <laughs> if you want to shrink the size of the 10 ball down, you play it in the side gladly. Man, that was, Jesus, right there. Let's see what he does. All the way up and uh, not all the way down. That was a huge, huge, huge error. He was supposed to be to tie the, the match. Kind of got that funny almost the right angle on on the seven ball up table. And he was on the left side of that line, so I thought he would follow it if he came up left side. He decided to draw it. I guess it wouldn't have been so bad if he did. If he drew it all the way down the bottom um, rail and out, he would have been straight in. But it seemed like. You no. know, sometimes you get caught up with a shot, and, and you, you're you just forced to make a decision yeah. because you you're just not feeling it. Right. You decide and, and you and go. Then, and then you make the decision, and then you kind of regret it. After <laughs> you've made. When it was coming up short, I'm sure he was regretting it. Yeah, because I, I could have gone the other way, too, you know. But no, I went this way. This way, yeah. If you'd gone forward, he would have been in, in play all along. The other way, it took him a while to get into play, and it just came up short of an easy shot. 6-4, Shane Van Boning got a gift there. <laughs> Wrapped in gold. Oh, yeah. Good break, and you know what? Remember, there's no tomorrow for one of these guys. Well. But there's not the, in this tournament. But there's the next day for the next tournament. <laughs> uh, there's always the next day, but Actually, as far as this tournament, it is life, tomorrow. There is tomorrow for <laughs> for one of them. <laughs> tomorrow for this tournament, next tournament. Tomorrow for the other guy for this tournament. Or actually, it's going to be today, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, a little back cut on the one ball if he's taking it. Six, uh, seven, eight is all tied up down there. 
banking in the side. Really? I don't know. I'm no, asking. No, sorry. <laughs> I had to look around the table to see what the angle was. <laughs> well, he didn't get a great result here. I looked, yeah. at, I looked around the room, looked back at the screen, saw the shot on the, on the one like ball, and said, banking, banking in the side? <laughs> I don't know. What's he shooting? What's he doing here? How does he save here? The two ball looks like it's going to hit the four ball straight in the face and bounce right out. Can he actually get underneath the two ball? He must be able to. Looks like he looks wow. like he can. Try to get back by the three. By the three. Yeah. He can get there. Or even better oh, by maybe using ball. the other balls. Yeah. Simple jump shot, but there's no position for the three. He's called the corner pocket. He has shorty. I don't think so. Well, he doesn't play with a with a, with a dark shaft, does he? Uh, no, he shoots with a, maybe with a predator type of break cue. Okay. I can't tell what that is. I think yeah, so. it's short. It looks like it's shorty. Or now it looks, yeah. It is his jump cue. Yeah. But now he's going to put it away and grab the other cue, his shooting cue. And he's going to do a kicker, I suppose. Called it again. Scratches on. This is going to get safe. Good, good wood on it. This is going to get safe. That's pretty good. Tough to get separation between the cue ball and the two ball. The two ball is going to hit the three ball, stay there, and all these other balls are going to stop the cue ball from running away unless he gets a very good nibble off the two. If not for a hung up 10 ball that Thorsten left, this, we'd be tied yeah. at five right here. Shane, I think he's just trying to tickle the four two ball. Oh, he got it full in the face and didn't get anywhere. Oh boy. You know, he, it looked like he died. Thorsten was gonna have a shot on this, but I think the three ball stops him from just shooting this ball. So safety coming up. Yeah, he's got, he's got uh, 10 and eight options. over there. Yeah. If you draw the cue ball right to it. He's got options. What he has to do is make sure he doesn't pocket a ball by accident. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. And that four ball, you know, it looks like the two ball is going to hit the four ball. So now he's got to try to get all the way to the seven. Get it all he the way to the get seven. There. Not even close. He didn't get there. Unfortunate for yeah. him, I think the way that those balls sit, it, they don't go anywhere. But yeah, he needed to go all the way to the seven. Ball. Tentative, I think. He's playing a pretty dangerous character when it comes to safeties <laughs> and hiding you and cue ball control and things of that nature. I looked over to uh, Clenty and. Aranis, again, uh -huh. Clenty is up. It's almost like he's playing against himself. I mean, Aranis has to be able to get up because of the break, but I haven't seen him up at the table not one time. <laughs> well, maybe he's doing to Clint, to Aranis what he did to Alex. Well, he can't break and run the set. He's <laughs> it's an alternating <laughs> break. Well, that's true. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> nice point. Meanwhile, Shane has been looking this over. Might have to ask for a timeout. How do you feel about a shot clock? Uh, uh, pain in the neck to pain. enforce? Yeah, it is. I never thought too much about it in time ball. Well, because normally people don't think that long. Well, true. But the reason I asked the question is you have Moscone Cup, you know, and they use a shot clock. Yep. 
Yeah. Does it add to the excitement of the arena? I uh, guess it arena? does. Sure, you I know, guess and it that's, does, yeah. that, And that's kind of my point. And that was kind of where I was where I was headed. I know in the eight ball, people get a little bit cerebral about it. And people want a shot clock. At the same time, you need to be cerebral mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. eight, eight ball. ball. Yeah, you do. Oh. you got to hold that pattern. You have to hold that pattern real well. The less you move the cue ball, the better off you are. I don't know what he's called here because he's about to fire at it. Seems like a scratch in the side pocket is a possibility. <laughs> are you kidding me? I want to throw up. That was so good. He cut that ball and hit the shot. far point of What that. a good shot. I, I tell I, you, I mean, you know, that was just spectacular. It was hard to see. It looked like that ball would scratch all day. But, but he no, hit, it goes he hit into it, the point. He, he looked hit at it a lot and he hit, did. And knew it was going to hit the point and, yes. and rolled the dice. And he made the two ball. That wasn't exactly a hanger. Well, you, you hit it just a slight bit off. And, and of course, you don't catch the point. Exactly. You go, right in the go drink, right in the drink. And you miss the ball. And he hit it so firm and fast. And I mean, I think the audience was completely stunned. Well, we're still kind we're of still debating it. Right. We're the audience. We're the audience, too. <laughs> The other, the audience side, there wasn't one clap. There wasn't. No, was there just, they were no. stunned. Oh, uh, I feel like getting up and saying, "Do we have to teach you how to clap?" <laughs> Jeez, what a shot! And 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 and, you know, what did they figure he got lucky on that shot? Yeah, maybe. Shane was grinning here because his position. And uh, he just barely leaked that ball in. He was probably grinning because he was trying to figure out what does it take to make these guys clap. <laughs> Look at this. Look how pure he hit that ball. Comes up and hits it Full just in line. But now he's paid a price. He's kind of almost over the ball. He's cueing uncomfortably. Well, he's playing this in the side pocket to be a little. Uh, he's still a little bit over the ball. Up and down the table. As long as he doesn't hit it so hard that it ends up on the bottom rail. Oh, the bottom rail. But he's going to hit the 10 and get away with it. <laughs> and guess where he ended up? Right on the bottom rail. And guess how he's getting back? He's no, not. He's not. <laughs> he's not. I think he's going to have to take a tough <laughs> shot. But he just came with a spectacular shot, and he is might he, come up with another one. Is he crazy enough to just go ahead and settle for that shot and place it at 10? Not that it's crazy. Or is he crazy enough to bank the ball across and come all the way back down? He's going to settle for the shot. And he says, I'm Shane Van Boning. I can it. make this. Well, saying I can and doing it, Torsten, we're about to find out. Torsten is hoping for a um, gift back. Yeah, just you know, catch a little bit of that rail so it stays up. Shane is looking at Put this right in the center without any kind of fanfare. Yeah. He wants a no no doubter here. Yeah. Torsten is saying, I'd have to do one like this. Leave me one like that. And he's overcut it. And, and he's scratched. Oh, oh he did my. not scratch. That's rolling good right there. That's rolling good. Rolling. Oh my. <laughs> what the heck? I just <laughs> just bank it. Just bank it in. That's right, just get rid of this rack. What's he gonna do? Shane is sitting there actually shaking his head, saying, wow, what happened? Life is good. Life is good. And speaking of life is good, there's the hit man. Do you just, oh boy. You, j you have to bank it, don't you? I, I don't see anything else. You can't be I, I, don't think I don't see anything else you can do successfully. Right, and the percentage of a safety here has got to be no better Perc than uh, than the just going for the bank. Well, after what Shane just did, <laughs> if, he, if he comes to the table, there is no safety because he's going to fire at anything you leave him. <laughs> I agree. Uh, he's got a good kick shot that sticks the cue ball in the bottom rail. And probably leaves the 10 ball long because it'll, it'll kick to the side pocket on the right. Right. And uh, go to the, you know, up to the middle, hopefully. You don't hit it too hard. It doesn't go up and crawl in front of the pocket. I can't tell how far off the ball is. Can you fit the ball uh, back there, the cue ball? All right, because the, yeah. the edge of the cushion kind of disappears. Correct. So for all you know, it's right. 
pretty close. Yeah, it is. It does look pretty close. So I'm not sure he can get the cue ball back here to kick it, and, and so it sticks, and the, and the ball goes up the way you want it to. Rolling a safety, he needs well, this ball to die. Well, this shot here is harder than the shot he just missed. Let's see if Shane. I think Shane goes for this. I just looked up and watched James and Honest break, so at least I can say I watched him shoot oh, okay. at least one shot on that. Is he cutting it in? Yes, it looks like he is. I didn't see him call anything. He might be cutting. I think he's cutting it in, but he could be playing safe. Too, but you can't tell from here. He kicked uh, there's it. no way that he gets safe here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Torsten has to take advantage of this. He hit that poorly. It's eight to six over there, Clinty and uh, Aranis. I have to believe that Clinty's up because I haven't seen much of Aranis. Well, he's sitting down again. Aranis is, by yeah, the way. Pushed out. Yeah. All right. Torsten to try to get this to six to five with him breaking. Somebody just hit the world with a flash. That could have been the door opening up and the sun was peeking in, but it doesn't seem like a flash. But happened Tor yesterday, too. Yeah. yeah. Torsten made that. Get rid of that rack. Well, this <laughs> look how close this match is. is. Very even close. with even with uh, some of the rolls, you might say, or misses or mistakes that have been made, it's close. It's close. He's a break away from tying it up. Well, as can't he make was, it on the break. as he was last time, <laughs> last last his last break. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's got. In other words, he's got it to do over again. Second chances. When you let a guy in a match like this, when you let a guy hang around, you know they can hurt you. Sure. And so usually they do. Especially if they come like back this. and hunt you. Yeah. yeah. Well, what did we talk about earlier about the rolls? How they come back? Oh, kind of they, even they, out. They, they turn around and even out. Big break. Kicked, kissed, kicked, kissed, kissed. Look at this ball hanging in the pocket and didn't go Nothing in. Nothing on the break. Look at a 9 10, but no shot on no the one. No shot in the one. Tough push out because if you can see the one, why wouldn't you be slinging at the 9 10? I'll tell you something here. This is this, I, It just popped in my head, and I don't know why, but let's see how crazy I am. I wouldn't put it past Shane to jump this ball, hit the one, and call the, call the 10. 10. Yeah, there's not a very good um, push out unless you push it out to a better jump shot. You know, he could miss it. He, he could hit it and hit it good enough that he gets behind the nine, hits a ten, the cue ball sticks there. <laughs> there's so much. Th there's. Yeah. Uh, um, I think I think he is going to end up either kicking at the one nine ten or jumping at the one. Caroming to the 9 10. I think I've just made it clear to all our viewers that I am just crazy. <laughs> He's pushing out to a better jump shot? Yeah. The, the angle to get there better. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's uh, what I thought. One, and oddly enough, it, it wasn't a wild kind of a push thought? out. It, it yeah. was probably the second or first or second thought to begin with. I don't think Torsen gives it back to him. I think Torsten takes this. It, it's almost like he has to because Shane is is a very is one of the best jumpers in the world. Mm -hmm. This will be a hanger for him. I don't want one of the most dangerous players in the world, one of the best players in the world, if not the best, of course. Um, saying come into my parlor and then letting him letting go again. Him <laughs> That's right. You know? He's going to take it. Yeah, he has to, even though I don't know his percentages. You're not going to call the 10? He has to, doesn't he? I would think he, so. He will. He's going to back off and go. 
but you don't want to kind of do that. I mean, swing to the left even, even by to. miracle, if it double hits it or something, being that close to the pocket, I'm, there's a good shot at what he uses to jump with. Vince always picks up on all these great things. He leads the way for us sometimes. <laughs> now the other is that kick across. Come on, kick to the Torsten. You got to call the 10 in my book. It's just my book, though. He is, and he's gonna, now he's going to go for the other cue stick. So he's kicking at the 1, 9, 10 combination, I believe. Boom, there's the call, and here comes the kick. This is looking too deep. He's going to hit it with speed. Oh. <laughs> That's safe. It worked out. <laughs> it worked out. Is it safe? Does it go by the 10? Well, this is one of those. Uh, that's yeah, we're deep. leaning against that's the right. We're, we're <laughs> both <laughs> leaning right on top of the monitor <laughs> to be able to see. And, and Vince, Vince is over is here in the corner just laughing at both of us. <laughs> okay, and we're not drinking. How do you like that? All right, well, Shane is shooting something. One ball. A few of those balls move, of course. Mini jump. What a great angle we got here. What a shot. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. Wow. Well, does he now just play this cue ball into the he back up there it. to where? Well, he can cut the he can cut the ball and and the three balls hanging, so he cuts this ball. He runs into the 9-10. Um, looks like he does. Maybe he doesn't, but looks like he does. It's a thin cut. And um, if he can't get on the four, he'll play safe on the four. Looks like he's the way he's aiming is. Yeah, so he's going to hit those balls. The problem with this shot is look how deep that three ball is. You can't do much with it. It's about as deep as you can go without dropping. 40% no. showing. That's the magic number with the diamonds. I'll hit the left Anything side less than 40% showing, that ball's got to drop. It looks like it's hanging over the pocket. <laughs> you know, it looks like it's 20% It's showing. keeping it up. When the balls are hanging like that and you miss the ball and you leave it there, you, see, you sit there and say, how... How can that ball not go in? Caught it real first, and this is over. Well, well, this is just a tremendous shot. There's not many angles you can have. At, you be able to shoot at the, at the four ball from he, there, and he's he got just it might, perfect. He might, he might be feeling it. He's going for it all the way. I think he doesn't hit the five. I mean, the six or the eight. Good shot, but this ball may not get far enough. Oh, he, no. he's already shown. He didn't he back cut a ball out of the side pocket to the left hand corner before? <laughs> right. So this problem, this shot would be what? No problem. Well, I would say that, but Shane's already disgusted about it. Fire the five ten. Well, you know why he gets disgusted? Because he sits back and says, "I don't want to show this." <laughs> That's right. I don't want to lose my fish. Pretty much. Playing the 10, 5 10. That's what <laughs> I just said where's it. And I wasn't serious that time. Well, where's he going with the cue ball? Drawing it straight back. Yeah, he's, looking, he's looking for a home for it. So it underneath if, the 8 ball. If it doesn't make it, he uh, doesn't leave it. That is a very, very tough combination. It's five feet away. Yeah. And he's trying to hit it perfect. But look what he's done with this. He looked behind for a home the for the cue ball, and he ended up behind the eight. Yeah, just and he didn't have to be, uh, no. Torson didn't have to be hooked, but he is. Little jump shot. Jump here. shot. And the six is on the side of the on the left side there, just waiting for position. Waiting for the cue ball to fall upon it. Put it in a pocket. But first he's gotta handle this five. Well he's got a guard against scratch. Yes he does. Get it full in the face. Behind the eight? No way. Well, he wants it to come up. 
Yeah, the rules know that it was Torsten shooting. That yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well. Looks like Shane will probably take care of these. Where is this cue ball going to hit? Is it going to hit high? Oh, he didn't have to get, he was almost straight in, so. Well, now it's going to hit back and forth. And probably end up right about where it's at. Or does he take it up by, uh, for, for another pocket? Uh, I, think I think you're right the yeah, first just, time. This oh, ball is not going to go in. Guess what? Thorson wants that ball to bounce. Big opportunity. It's a big break for Thorsten. Big unforced Thorsten. error. error. You know, it was the other shot that he decided just to cozy it over. I thought for sure he'd go to the rail and out, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. Probably because the side pocket was there, but it came up a little short enough to go back and forth, but certainly expecting Shane Van Boning to make that ball. This is a big break here for Thorsten. This ball is going to fly. Nope, it's going to slow down. Easy. Oh, well, it's still moving. Jeez, I thought that ball stopped two feet back. Does the seven actually pass the ten? I just yes. assumed it did. Maybe yeah, he was doing does. a... Maybe he thought he wasn't going to make it up there because he, it looks like from here he's got only half a pocket. That's no well, good. He better find it because you don't get opportunities like this. No, no. He, he better decide he can make this, make it, and uh, play shape, or just roll the cue ball on the ten ball. He's going for it. There's room. Very nicely done. The ball's got to come off the cushion. It does. He's got a little cut here, so he must, he must make sure he misses the side pocket. Just get on the nine. Tie it up. This always scares me looking at this. Skid is on, <laughs> you know, and yeah. uh, scares him too, but he's going to get away with it. No, he's not. Well, at least he's not giving up a shot, but... It scared him too. It was a, f yeah. you know, you had to hit it center ball, kind of dig a little bit at it to get the cue ball up table. Guard against the skid. Maybe he was guarding against the skid so much they overcut it. I think Shane cuts this in and gets perfect on the nine. The cue ball is not just on top of that eight ball. I mean, the eight ball not on top of the cushion. rail. I think it's off a little bit. It's off by about an inch. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh wow, that looks a lot different from there. <laughs> that looks a lot different from there. From there, yeah. well, what do you do from there? Well, there's, All right. there's no bank straight back. No bank. Uh, you cut the left side of it, the, the low side of low it on the screen, it, yeah. and come two up. Two rail out. Yeah, two rail out. Or do you bank it two rails up to the nine and leave the cue ball down there? One of those, right? Well, safety. This isn't going to do it. That's no. not going to do it. No. That wasn't one of my options. No. <laughs> Even if it passed, he would have been shooting the ball up table. The eight ball up in the, in the corner pocket, right? Well, he could have two rail. There's a, he would have had options. He would have had control. For sure. Okay, well, Torsten Tolman is. Vince, you can help us with the commentary. More than likely going to get there. Oh, what would you do? You can't, you can't understand the shot, huh? I'm pretty sure nobody could. Huh? Well, yeah. when a shot doesn't work, it's hard to understand when it yes, works. Very true. It shows so up. So. That's right. That's right. If it worked out, mm -hmm. if it worked out, genius. we'd all see it. That's right. We're tied. Shane has let, let him hang around. Let him hang around. Hang around. I sort of wonder if he and was. I think he's forgotten to tell Torsten that um, he's leading the match and wants to win. I'm sort of wondering if he was just trying to hit that to the side rail to give a tough out because there was no easy way to get a safe. I don't know. I think he was trying to roll it, double hit it, and stay stay right uh, there. Stay on top of it and yeah. not give up a shot. Well, we had a good angle all the way mm -hmm. that it was off off mm -hmm. to the side a little bit. If uh, if it didn't double hit, it would have. I, I just didn't see how it didn't didn't double hit from there. <laughs> well, there's this break. Makes a ball, big break. There goes another ball. Balls. There goes another balls ball. Going in, three balls. Um, He's cutting the one ball back and forth, and as long as he leaves the cue ball uh, where the one ball is or on that side, side. he's got a shot, shot on the four. four. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is a cut shot right up the rail. Let's see if Shane can forget about that last rack and go on. And make sure he misses the five.
And it got to make sure he makes the one. Hung it up. Now, see. Clint Ikachi, by the way, has just uh, defeated, defeated uh, Dodong uh, Diamond, James Aranis. Wow. Good, good, good win. He's got a thing for uh, Filipinos. <laughs> um, Meanwhile, Torsten has an opportunity to take the lead in this rack, uh, this, this set, if he can run out here. Just has to get on this side of the of these balls without getting trapped anywhere. Mm -hmm. This is you no know, danger, no danger. Freddie, we had a good view of that one ball hanging up. Yeah, yeah. Did you see it almost dip into the pocket? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you know, and I understand how a ball does that. It looks like it's going to go forward, and then it just kind of stays up. And that's that confuses me. It does. Oh, he just he, he does want to get down to the seven. The seven is above the side pocket, so there's, yeah, he just has to bump this off the rail up here and just get there because the eight ball's hanging out there. Nothing to do here. Stop shot. This looks like a straight pull pattern here. Yeah, and, and Torsten breaks too, doesn't it? Torsten uh, does. Torsten will be breaking. Yeah. Torsten's got to take a look and say, w did I just get perfect? Heaven forbid. this back about 13 inches. Not much, yeah. Well, actually. Oh, so you can just slide down. Mm -hmm. but he, had a, he had the tiniest of angles. Shoot the 10 ball in the same place? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just saw it again. I am for sure that somebody just took a picture with Flash. I was looking up. It wasn't the door. Oh. It wasn't the door. Torsten Holman has just taken the lead. Late in the match. Late in the match. And he's breaking to get on the hill. Wow. Well, this has been a funny uh, funny match so far. I'm sorry, but that's that's the most. That's a lot of errors coming. Um, yeah. That's the most determined and um, I'm looking for a word. Thorsten walked to, to, to the break area to, to rack the balls. Yeah. Just like he strutted up there and saying, I'm here, I'm back. I'm <laughs> Did you just say he'll be back? No, no. It, it just, it, it just in his walk, yeah. you know. He's he, very determined. He's very determined. Well, he's looking for a big break with a shot in the one ball to try to try to make a clearance to get on the hill. He, every game is huge. You're quite late oh, wow. into the race to nine. Well, if he breaks and runs, Shane breaks and runs is the best he can do. And then uh, Torsten has it to do all over again. If Torsten break and runs here, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Chain. Yes. Of course, he lives for pressure. Lost his cue ball a bit. A there ball is down. And he can Shot see the on one. The one. Can see on the one. There goes the three. Nope, not going. Just going to lay in a nice place for the next shot. He's got to cut on the one. Cut on the one. Stay out of the side. Wide open area for the three ball if you can get over there and just stay over there wide open landing area for the cue ball too to get position yes this is yes, kind of i said it different than you didn't i yes sir See, i just want to change it up <laughs> <laughs> all right toasty is gonna i get uh, he, he he needs to cut this ball right yeah, he's supposed he to cut this i don't ball. see any other shot he's kind of looking he up can't the let shane back to the table it's just no tough to what. tell from the monitor how easy or how difficult that shot is. He looks like he's got enough to spin this ball. And if he spins this ball, the five ball, he's got to clear the five. If he clears the five, it's no problem. And the side pocket, and the one ball didn't go. And look where his cue ball stops. Goodness gracious. How does that one ball not go? He has go? a window. Does he really? It looks like he had. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Well, when, does he have yeah, a window he does. to he, He'll Massé around the, the nine. Massé to catch the cushion. Oh, that's pretty deep. He that can is follow deep. it in. That is deep. Well, let's see what he does here. I think he has a window to Massé around the nine. I don't think, he, I don't think he can follow it in, but I think that he can actually miss the he's nine, the it. one ball. He's massé it. Yeah. Nice, ball, nice camera. Both these balls are in play here. Yep. And he's crashing, and no shot. Uh, he hits the ball and still gets oh, a shot. Oh, goodness gracious, he, he can't see it. 
Well, he got a good roll there, and he's got an opportunity to tie this rack up. How did, you know, that's two balls, the one that Shane hit and the one that Torsten hit that couldn't possibly not go in at the speed it was going. And yet, He's pretty straight to get on this five ball. Yeah, and if he tries to get below the five, there's a couple balls there. And yeah. I guess he has to go above the ball, above the five. He might play for a bank. He might draw the, the ball all the way down here and, and come back up. He just punched it off punched the side. It straight. Wow. <laughs> Who does that? Wow. I thought he was too straight for that. I really do. Yeah, and he thundered that in and knew the, the rail, the, the cushion, mm -hmm. cue ball off the cushion like that. Pretty nice. This is where the long, extra long cue comes in handy. What an unfortunate hang up for, um, for Toasty. For Toasty, yeah, yeah on that one ball. He's, you know, he's been fighting. He hasn't given up. Raised he's playing. He's, you know, um, gosh. Definitely been battling. There isn't much here to go to. And he's played this pretty good. Shane Van Gorman. He, can he, I he guess he can just that. roll this ball here. Yep. Very nice. An eight must go. He's just staring it down now. But. Nice rack for Shane to tie it up himself. Seven to seven in a second. Breaking on the hill, Shane Van Bone. No, he's not on the hill. Oh, I'm to get on the hill. <laughs> Forgot a word. No. <laughs> he just tied it up. So it's now 7-7, seven, seven. and he wants to break and run this to put all the pressure on Toasty. I do like the shirt. Shirt, oh, this is his uh, playing jersey. Yes, the playing jersey. All right, here we go. You figure he'll make a ball in the break. Thump. Ball is in. Cue ball, unfortunately, is going down table. Right behind gets, the oh, 10. Right behind the 10. Nothing going on. Nothing well, going on there. Push yeah. out. He, he parked <laughs> the ball right where he wanted it, in the middle of the table. Um, it got bumped. Fortunately, it did not get bumped to a pocket and didn't scratch. Unfortunately, it got bumped behind. Behind the temple. Behind the temple. Push. He's gonna push. Is he gonna give the shot up? I well, if he, he lay, is. if he sits it on the cushion, Torsten might pass this ball. No. You know what I like here, Freddie? I like banking the one ball, calling the left hand upper corner pocket on, the, on your screen and banking it hard enough, knowing you're gonna miss it short and having it come back up by the four. And, and he does. Ball to the middle of the table. He does pass it. Yeah, it does go by. No, no, he I said he, pa he passed He passed the ball, the, the, the shot back to Shane as, okay. I, as I predicted. Okay. It's because he laid it on the cushion. If he had left that ball off the cushion, then he'd had some options, and I think he would have he could have played a, a bunch of other shots. And it seemed like Shane had actually purposely put it on the cushion to give uh, to give an opportunity to get it back. It's one of those funny things. If he doesn't put it on the cushion, 
Torsten, Torsten probably would have just gone at him and shot it. Not exactly safe. Plays the one to the corner pocket. Uh, he's going to hit the eight with the cue ball. Have no position. Um, so if he maybe plays just a safety. That's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to see which way he can go, and I'm thinking out loud, I guess. Uh, he plays it's the one, one into the eight. Tries to hit the side rail and come by the deuce and the ten. He could have a safety. Kind of like this. Get down there. Kind of like this. Looks good. Yep. Good, good shot. shot. Jump shot to the one, but a, if he makes yeah. it, nothing, nothing going deuce. on. Yeah, nothing for the deuce. I, I like that shot. So I'm sure that makes Torsten feel really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna jump this with his playing cue. So you know, with all these graphite shafts that are now, now in play, mm. I guess Walmart had, had had it right years ago, huh? Well, I have a, and I'm Who just going to say there? this: as a plastics engineer, it's very difficult for me to call those graphite. They, they were erroneously called graphite before carbon fiber is the mm. is the is the correct term. Okay. And so there's different kinds of weaves for carbon fi carbon fiber, and those Walmart cubes were very weak weave, uh. very very weak. Well, look what they started. Hey, well, they didn't. Well, they <laughs> <laughs> I was being said. Just nice coming around. And a bump is unfortunate for Shane because that ball was covered for quite a distance. That's mm -hmm. two rail. But yeah, he actually jumped to for a safety. There's no way he was trying to make that ball. I don't think because if he'd made it. This young man right here that's about to shoot with Germany on his back uh, on the back of his shirt doesn't think it was unfortunate. <laughs> he kind of likes the idea that he's coming to the table. Yeah. The now two ball sits in a funny spot. Master of your own destiny here, buddy. Wow, George. No, I'm not thinking of, of <laughs> Steinfeld, okay? <laughs> Master of your own domain? domain? domain. I didn't say domain, I said destiny. <laughs> Up and down the table. Boy, there's... That was your mind, not my words. <laughs> He's going up and down. I think they just just see this two ball. He's got to come close to the five. Too close to hit the five. Hit it then if you're going to do that. Uh, oh, he didn't hit it. And it's perfect. He's okay. Well, it ran a little bit farther, but it's I think okay. he's good. He, uh, he, oh, he's going to nimble the top part of the 10. That'd be good. And, and possibly get behind the 9. This is one of the scary shots that a yes, skid, is, the yeah. skid is on here because he's just going to, I think he's going to slow pedal this and go into the 10 ball. If, he's, if he can hit the 10 ball full, then he's fine, but he doesn't want to cover the 8 ball either. Beautiful. He just did it so well. Beautiful. That was, and it that was very. So good, uh, yeah. And what he's done there, ladies and gentlemen, is put that 10 ball as a perfect break ball for a straight pool, just in case they decide to change the game right now. I, I, I'm i not one to, <laughs> um, I don't want to say I'm playing favorites, but. Um, <laughs> we can't play favorites, but I, I know, know you're not. And that's why I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but we definitely like to see a good ending of this match. Oh, believe me, we can't play favorites. <laughs> We're not supposed <laughs> to, but we can play favorites. I will say for one of the first times in uh, tournaments, uh, there's someone I would like to see win this tournament. Well, and unfortunately, you're not talking about one of these two guys. No, I'm not. Should be. Uh, uh -oh. oh boy! Oh, oh boy! Oh. He didn't really do this. Yes, he did. Oh, it didn't. It, he didn't scratch, and he's got a shot. 
does it go by? It, go, it goes in the side. Does it go in the corner, which is where he wants to play it? That is uh, unbelievable it if he got It looks bad. like it. Ay, 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 ay. He's looking. He's shooting. This, this him. Wow. How could he possibly have gotten there? Oh, it goes in. Yeah, he's got half. He's got barely a half a pocket. And it doesn't go in. Did he get safe? And he nods. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he nodded as if that's he how was it's safe. been going all day. Boy, that's really unfortunate. And it was one of those cushions up table that it exploded off of, and it went way long. Well, if it exploded, he lit the match. Yeah. Uh, so to analyze that, when he played the four on the side, coming off the side cushion, it came up short for the five in the corner. He shot the five in the corner, hit one of the side upper cushions, and exploded back along, which is what's been doing all day, all day today and yesterday. That was a big opportunity for Torsten. <laughs> big time. He's yeah, big supposed time. to be on the hill right now. Yeah. And breaking. Well, instead, it's going to be, <laughs> he's not going to be on the hill, but he will be breaking. That's right. To get on the hill. And uh, Shane, again, will be converting. Converting and errors. happy to take the gift. Torsten Homan is going to be up breaking up against the hill. You see how he put that chalk down there? He wanted to smash that chalk. <laughs> but you know something? He wanted to. The gentleman that he is, he didn't. Yeah. He, he laid it down just, he made his point. <laughs> That's right. He made his point. Winner of this match goes on to play Dennis Hatch, who's waiting in the wings. I assume Dennis is out there practicing. He, he is. He's out there practicing. Yeah, 7 p.m. match. We're going to be bringing you the hot seat match in just a second between Mitch Ellerman and Alex Pagulayan. Has Alex been on the stream table this this uh, um, week yet? I don't believe I remember. Yes, yes he, has. he has. He has. The Wonder Boy versus the Lion. I'm trying to think of when it was. Yeah, uh, you, we've seen him. That's true. Hey, because we were out there, we were interviewing him, and, and we asked him about his sponsors. That's right, and the sponsor was uh, looking, for more. looking for more. Oh, it. my goodness. Torsten almost knocked the cue ball off the table, and it didn't go off the table. He didn't make a ball, and he didn't leave an easy shot. He's left a bank shot or a safety. Well, he's fortunate that uh, he's not giving up ball in hand here. The cue ball was on top of the of the diamond wood rail. Yeah. And you hit it so hard, you hit that break so hard that all the balls came up table and went all, back all the way down back again. Down They're table. all in the middle of the table. They're all kind of grouped. Have you seen a grouping like that before with all the balls except for one? No, oh, usually it's, uh, yeah. if, if anything, they're all up table. Yeah. It's gonna go past. And he's got a kick shot. He can Attempt to kick this one ball between the five and the side pocket. Or straight down just past the nine, so it, when it hits the bottom rail, it goes up behind the five and the four. But he's got to try to do something with this and get safe. I don't think you push here. I think it's a kick shot for a safe. Why would you push? Where would you push to? No, why would you push? Shane uh, played Shane the safety there. here. Okay. Because I was thinking of the we're break still. I was still thinking break. I think you were thinking two shot rollout, which we stopped playing back in the uh, early 80s, I Unfortunate believe. Unfortunately, I used to like that. I used to like that rule. Especially when you're the better player in the game. <laughs> uh. Kicked oh boy. Oh, he's on. He's got, he there. got there. He got wow. There. Nice shot. I thought he was going to kick it right into the hole, which I don't believe he called. Maybe he did call. He must have had to call. Yeah. That's exactly what you would want to call, I believe. Sure. But then again, sure. it looked like he was going to try to kick and stick. 
Well, Shane has a really good shot at making this ball. Here yes, right there. Yeah, he's got to hit higher than that. <laughs> if What's you, the formula for doing this? Is this is called a mirror? Mirror yeah, shot. Yeah, some people words? call this mirror, and you some some people will use the edge of the rail, some oh, edge of the cushion. Some people will yeah. use that tro the trough that's uh, that's half a diamond, a half a diameter of a ball off the cushion. You'll probably okay. see there. You go. He's, he's yeah. using the mirror method. I'm not sure why he's kicking from behind. And that's where there, he, has, right? he has to aim at that spot where his finger is. He's aiming the cue ball right at that. All right. So, so that means he's going to hit the cushion way just above it. Yeah, about where the first diamond off by the side pocket is. First diamond by the side pocket is where he's hitting the cushion. A little bit too high. And look where he's left this ball. That's uh, that's, that's been, been happening that's the whole match. Real fortunate, you it's know. It's been happening in all match. I would have expected that one ball actually to be hanging, and it's not. <laughs> and certainly would have expect that he wouldn't be hooked behind the ball, Torsten, but he is. There's no one rail kick. There's no two rail kick up table. There's a three rail kick below to then, yeah. for just a safety, yep. jacked up on the six, I think. Now, see, if, if, if you're yeah, playing yeah. one pocket here, and this is where your opponent leaves you, you're going to kick to the side rail on the left, the bottom rail, and just clip the bottom of the one ball to the rail. Did I, did I, right where he put his fingers, where you want the cue ball. But you want to hit the ball up, and then the cue ball comes back out and over again. Maybe you get behind right, five right, four. Right. <laughs> that's 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 all he that's all he can do. He's going to call that ball too. Where is he going to call it? The side? In no. his pocket. So since he's playing one pocket, he's oh. going to be calling it to his pocket. Oh, no, you're not trying to make it while you're playing safe. You're trying to take the ball away. See? Uh. That, that, that's that's the shot. That's it. It, And it's found a window. Found a window. There's a window between the two and the three. That's sick. Well, if this were one pocket, Shane would be shooting the six ball into his hole and running <laughs> out. So... <laughs> <laughs> in one pocket, you shoot it so you just barely hit the rail and you don't give up the bank. Yes, but uh, but that's what I'm saying. I was describing the shot so that. Uh, <laughs> hey Joey, how's it going, buddy? Wow, to, to end up with a window between all those balls. Can he actually make this ball, or can he just hit it? It looks I like he can go straight into it, stop the ball, and run out. That's what it looks like. Well, that was just too clean. These balls are pretty tied up, so if he runs out here, he will have really navigated in very, very tight quarters. Mm -hmm. This actually reminds me a little bit of an eight ball pattern. Just don't move the eight ball cue ball too much and just line up on your shots right in the middle of all those balls. So he's looking to see where he has to be for the three because he's going to want to stop it where the three is for the four. He's going to stun back just a hair. Not, not enough. One more hair. Yeah. <laughs> Well, actually, he can hold this. He can hold this. I, th I think he can hold it. Yeah, he, he can just run into the nine, and he's there. Can you actually run in the nine from here? It looks like he hit the right side of the nine and, and start getting away from mm -hmm. this angle. Oh, especially from this angle, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Stop changing the angle. Yeah. He's, I think he's running into the four. Or the five, but he's, you know, he always draws so low. It, it, right. You know. If he just, if he moves over, what, then he's okay. Six I think he can hold it. If he goes six inches, it's probably too far. It's real close. He's just got to kind of. That's what he's doing. He's going to try to hold it right like there. Touch it the in. Yeah. No, he ran no, the he four. Went, he, he ran the four. Oh, he ran around the four. I think he was trying to hit the four. Surely, goodness, that's not where we wanted it. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think he was trying to hit the four or the five, more of the four. Safety. Or does this ball go in? 
And it looks like he's playing it. Well, he's playing safe. No, yeah, it goes he's in. playing oh, it. Wow. wow, it goes in. And he's found the out there. You know, I'm sure Torsten is sitting in the chair right now, kind of disgusted. I'm sitting right here, kind of disgusted for him too. I feel, I feel his pain. I feel his pain. There was a I couple of balls pain. he hung. Yeah. He, and he hung around. And he hung around and hung around. And then Shane gave him the opportunity. And then that yeah. six ball, the they six got away ball, from the him. five to the yeah, six. That's the right. The four to the five him. was short. Five to the six was long. It just got away. Wow. I was going to say, it looks like our 7 p.m. match might run a little late. You guys are going to want to hit some balls. Especially on this table. Yeah. And uh, but the hot seat match is coming up right after this one. That'll be Mitch Elman versus Alex Pegulian. This looks pretty good. Does the nine ball go to the corner? It goes into every pocket. I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, he's gonna play it to the other corner, yeah, and uh, he says, yeah, "I don't care." Fifty-yard line here, because <laughs> um, now if he plays it up table, he's got to make sure he doesn't run into the ten or put on top of the ten. Now he's got to he's got to negotiate the ten where he didn't have to before. Gonna, I think he's gonna draw past it and play the ten ball in the side, side. pocket, yeah. but he's just going the wrong way. Got to clean off the shaft. <laughs> yep. Draw down, ten on the side. And for the match, yeah, right he around. He did go it. around yeah. it. Yeah, he had to negotiate it. That's where the angle let him. It was just easier to do it that way. Well, that's what I. Him. All right, well, a little bit of tough luck for Torsten Hoeman. Good job, Shane Van Boning, moving on to the next round for him. See you in a little bit, guys.